So, here we are once again talking about RAM. Now we all know that tech enthusiasts love to show off their massive 16GB or even 32GB setups, right? But what about the average person who's just trying to get through the day without having to sell their kidney to afford a good machine? Let's take a step back and talk about something much more reasonable for most people. 8 gigabytes of RAM. You know, that sweet spot where you're not breaking the bank, but also not running a machine that feels like it's struggling every time you open a new tab. I get it. Some of you are probably rolling your eyes thinking 8 gigabytes? That's too little. But before you click away, hear me out. I've been using an 8 gigabyte machine for years now, and honestly, it's more than enough for 90% of what we do. Whether it's emailing, browsing, streaming, or even doing some light photo editing, 8 gigabytes gets the job done. The truth is, unless you're a content creator or someone who spends their entire day running 50 tabs, editing 4K videos, or gaming on ultra settings, 8 gigabytes will work just fine. It's that perfect middle ground. 8 gigabytes of RAM is the sweet spot for most people. If you're just casually browsing the web, working on documents or watching Netflix, you don't need all the bells and whistles. What 8 gigabytes of RAM does for you is ensure that your machine runs smoothly, without lagging or freezing when you switch between tasks. It's a good balance between price, performance, and functionality. Here's the deal. Both of these systems are running the same basic tasks, email, web browsing, and streaming. And, shocker, they both perform about the same. More RAM doesn't magically make your browser open faster. Sure, it can help if you're running tons of programs or doing memory-intensive work, but for most people, it's unnecessary. Wait, what? 8 gigabytes is all you've got? Are you still using a flip phone too? Actually, an iPhone 11. This is 2025, man! Honestly, I can't even imagine trying to run a single program with 8 gigabytes of RAM, let alone multitasking. You might as well start using a calculator to do your work. My man, 8 gigabytes, really? Are you stuck in the past? Do you even know what modern technology is like? Or do you still think floppy disks are a thing? Okay, okay, I get it. You all have more RAM than I do. Big deal. But for what I need, 8 gigabytes works fine. I'm not running a high-end gaming rig, all right? Just shut up and let me continue with this video. So what it all really comes down to is how you use your computer. You just got to find out what is best for you and you can make your decision based on what you need. Some might need just 4 gigabytes for a school computer, some might need 8 for basic browsing and streaming, some use 16 or 32 for gaming, or some use more for heavy use like video editing. So just pick what is best for you and don't speed. Look at you, the proud owner of 8 gigabytes RAM, running the world's slowest spreadsheet. Maybe you should throw in a second cup of coffee just to get through that PowerPoint. What's next? Should we start calling you the man who survives on 8 gigabytes? I've seen people who run faster machines just by breathing. You should put a sticker on your computer that says, I'm a brave soul running on 8 gigabytes RAM. I can't even imagine how slow that thing is when you try to open more than five tabs at once. You know, Jeremy might be the only guy I know who still thinks 8 gigabytes is a lot. When are you upgrading to something more modern, Jeremy? Or are you just sticking with this ancient relic for nostalgia's sake? I think the real question is, when are you going to admit it, Jeremy? 8 gigabytes? Seriously? Honestly, Jeremy, I'm not sure if I should call you tech savvy or tech tragic. Do you want me to teach you how to use 16 gigabytes like an adult? Wait, what? What did you just say? Uh, oh, oh, did I? Oh no, Jeremy, did we just blow your cover? Wow, I can't believe we just dropped your real name on camera like that. Well, Jeremy, you know what they say. What is hidden in the dark comes to light. What's the matter, Jeremy? Did you not want people to know? What are you gonna do, huh? Go back and edit this out? Jeremy, I think you just lost your mysterious narrator status. Who knew we were dealing with Jeremy over here, the guy with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a secret identity? Yeah, Jeremy, maybe we should call you the 8 gigabyte enigma from now on. That's a good stage name for you, huh? Who knew we were dealing with the mighty Jeremy all along? Honestly, I thought the narrator was some kind of superhero name, but nope, it's just... Jeremy. Shut up, everybody. This is not what I wanted. I was trying to do a tech review, not expose my whole life on YouTube. Can we... Can we get back to talking about RAM? Come on, Jeremy. It's not like you're hiding anything anymore. I mean, we all know about your RAM situation. Why not just let the people know your name, too? Don't worry, Jeremy. We'll still respect you. 
But now you have to face the facts. You're a guy with 8 gigabytes of RAM, and your name is Jeremy. Hey, we all make mistakes. But at least now everyone knows that Jeremy is the guy to ask about all things ancient tech. Okay, okay, let's just finish this video, alright? I'm still reviewing RAM, not explaining my life to all of YouTube. Let's move on from the name thing, please. Sure, sure, Jeremy. Keep pretending you're still the narrator. We all know the truth now. Everyone just get out my studio, NOW! I am tired of all of this stupidity. Anyway, let this be an example of people being toxic over your RAM, and apparently it's enough to where people want to leak and make fun of my name. Don't let anyone critique you to what you don't want to do. If you like the topic or the chaotic reveal, consider liking and subscribing, and comment how much RAM you use on your computer. Until then, this is TBH signing off, and about to have a chat with my roommates.